News courtesy of BBC News regarding the Leeds Festival. I always hate to see these sort of things because it makes me feel somewhat guilty. It makes me have somewhat, you know, a level of survivor's guilt, even though it's not about me at all. But this tragic news courtesy of BBC really kind of hit me today. It says, Leeds Festival boy, 16 dies after falling ill, a suspected drug incident. And that, and then again, the story develops and now we've got an idea on who the kid is. It says, family of a beautiful, fiercely independent boy pays tribute after he died following the Leeds Festival. So that's the young boy there. And the, the article goes as follows on Sky News. It says, the family of a 16-year-old who died after falling ill at Leeds Festival has paid tribute to the beautiful, fiercely independent boy. David Salino from Worsley, Manchester, was taken to the festival's medical tent on Saturday night and died in hospital on Sunday morning. Our David was a beautiful, fiercely independent and warm character who lived every day at 110% and who loved to spend time enjoying music with his friends his family said he had just received his fabulous GCC results got into college and had hoped to study computer science at top university bloody hell Leeds Festival was a highlight of his summer ultimately it was taken it ultimately has to take his life in the most unfair cruel and horrible way and we are broken West Yorkshire Police conducting inquiries into the death officers supporting David's family on Sunday the force said it had launched an investigation into a suspected drug related death officers were called at 10.16pm on Saturday after the teenager was taken to the event's medical tent he was taken to hospital and died on Sunday morning Assistant Chief Constable Catherine Hawk Hackinson of West Yorkshire Police said our force are with the family of the boy who has died and we have officers supporting them in every very difficult time while the exact cause of death is yet to be established one line of inquiries taken particular type of ecstasy MD a tablet which was described as grey or black oblong shape at this moment in time this is believed to be an asset incident as we have not received any similar reports users of any drug or not professionally prescribed can never be sure of its content and risk involved anyone who's feeling ill take advantage take a station seek urgent medical attention the reason why this hits home is because obviously as I mentioned previously I went to an event on Sunday you know E1 and Labyrinth uh, featuring Arm and Henrik Schwartz and uh, Jimmy Jules and I went there under the proviso of trying out a new thing, which I don't usually do, which was basically stay off, stay off the alcohol and just stick to taking a couple of pills um, in order to kind of, you know, add to my night's enjoyment, which is definitely something that I don't usually do. I usually do get on the alcohol pretty heavy and then combine it with the drugs that can sometimes get you a bit loopy. But usually that's kind of what people do when they go out to these sort of events. But over the time, especially nowadays, where I've kind of been dialing back my going out and my ability to recover has been dwindling i've had to kind of find a balance and i thought the only balance really to make is to sort of abstain from one or the other maybe totally because abstain from any drugs and alcohol or abst or choose one and then just stick with it so i decided to just stick with the pills and decided hey i know i can probably only manage to do one or maybe one and a half the whole night anyway so why not just leave off the alcohol and just kind of enjoy the pills as I kind of go along and kind of hydrate myself throughout the day. And of course, the next day, I kind of felt really fresh. I didn't have a burnt, crashing hangover, um, which you know instantly made me realize how damaging the effects of alcohol can be, especially in combination with drugs. But sometimes the, the fad, sad thing about this sort of stuff is because when you read the article, of course, it says there were no other inc instances you know that were kind of reported incidences were reported, right, when this kid fell ill. So clearly it was something that he just was unlucky with or maybe he got a bad batch like he was the only one that got it um but it is really unfortunate when these things happen and i feel like in general maybe these deaths as well could be prevented in some way if there was a more open um line of communication when it comes to drug use i feel like for the most part especially in the uk there is this sort of taboo around drugs um there is this sort of like um hear no see no evil hear no evil when it comes about it people try to basically bury their head in the sand but we know through statistics and stuff you know england london has really high usage of drugs especially when it comes to stuff like cocaine and whatnot right you find crazy um, amounts i think one point i remember reading an article that london or the uk had the highest amounts of cocaine users or usage in the entirety of europe which is absolutely insane you remember that report too one time where they found really high traces of cocaine residue in the houses of parliament and shit so clearly it's kind of infiltrated every part of society it's not just affecting people in the working class you know middle class or upper class it's affecting everybody everybody is somewhat um, affected by drugs the effects of it or fans of it or consumers of it whatever it may be but the con conversation around safe drug use the conversation around um, safety is not really open it feels like everything's kind of done in shadows or whatnot even when you have to get your stuff tested you kind of have to send it anonymously it's all cloak and dagger stuff and I think that doesn't really help when it comes to kids 
kids and them wanting to take drugs because there is no honest conversations around it right there is no kind of oh where can your concerns be met um with some level of consideration and not be judged and whatnot so kids are going into these kind of things wanting to a impress their friends wanting to also be naughty and do something and just wanting to take a chance and it can sometimes you know end really badly but it's also just un maybe it just might be just pure unluck unlucky imagine imagine be purely purely unlucky his entire group of friends could have also taken the same batch of pills and they could be completely fine and it affects somebody completely differently but i also want to say that maybe also there should be a conversation around encouraging kids to also go especially when they're in at this sort of age that's uh, those kind of developmental age especially when i was going out most of my time used to be spent around just drinking loads of alcohol i wasn't even taking drugs that much at that time at all i don't think i started really really late but there should be a conversation around just being able to enjoy your nights out sober. I know there's a lot of Gen Z kids who are really into sort of alternative um, way lifestyles when it comes to, you know, maybe, or, you know, diets or eating, you know, when it comes to avoiding gluten, being vegan, being vegetarian and whatnot. But I would like that conversation to be extended into stuff like drugs and alcohol also, where they get to the point where maybe this newer generation aren't that infatuated or kind of gripped by the hooks of alcohol and drugs as maybe my generation was, millennials and whatnot. I think that might be a good way to go about things because unfortunately us brits don't have a middle gear there is no such thing as a you know second gear we try to we basically go all the way to the end and um, we don't really take any half measures or half steps so maybe that's really affecting us also but i would like to see that kind of happen a kind of a maturity when it comes to nightlife um where it doesn't have to always revolve around drugs and alcohol because i see that a lot when i go to berlin like for everybody that gets you know that crashes out on ghb there's also an entirely big scene of people who just go out for the vibes who go out drink a club mate and just chill they don't do anything do you know what i mean they just go out and just basically pay for a cloakroom and just buy club mates with 10 euros as many check up as they can with 10 euros and that's exactly it they do so but they also don't have a middle ground right they have people who get on it every single day and are completely messed up and get lost in the source but they also have people who are completely stone cold sober but still go out to heavy industrial techno night so it's really bizarre but we don't seem to have that other side of things so maybe deaths like this can maybe you know inspire kids and maybe explore different ways of kind of enjoying their nights out but in regards of whatever it may be it's absolutely tragic my thoughts and feelings go out to the family of this kid david salino um it really is horrible horrible news to hear especially considering he was going after such a big monumental occasion in his life in gcse he's getting good results applying to go to college and this sort of you know festival is probably a great way to kind of celebrate and cap off a pretty tough year do you know what i mean in terms of revising and selecting a college you go it's all kind of really stressful especially at that age kind of trying to figure out what you want to do with your kind of rest of your life quote unquote so you would imagine you know going to Leeds festival and seeing your favorite bands and artists play would be a good way to sort of like cap off the year and sort of gonna get you ready before you head into going to college and starting the next chapter of your life and then for it to end in such a in such a catastrophic way is really really sad um so yeah force and feelings go out to his family and friends and everyone connected with the guy it really is bleak to read this man but i think you know, these conversations need to be had and open and hopefully um there's some good can come off the back of this tragic news in it so again r.i.p david salino r.i.p david salino